Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics and we are going to do a quick video on how to use len and uh, a little bit more with that and incrementing. So alright, let's just jump right into it. So x is just an empty string and a is a string of the first what seven seven letters of the alphabet in lowercase so now let's say we want to increment X with these first ones but we don't want it to be longer than three so let's just let's just jump into it so, all right and we're gonna use our for loop we could use uh, we could use a while loop but we're just gonna do this with a for loop maybe that can be the next video I'll do this with a, with a while loop that's actually a good idea so for I in a and then what do we want to do what I say we wanted to do we wanted to we wanted to get this up to three letters the first three so and we're not going to do this with slicing we want to increment up because we want to use our len function as a test if len x less than three you might say why am I doing less than three I thought we wanted it to be three we'll, I'll show you we can we can experiment so we're gonna do X and then increment if you have not seen my increment and decrement video go look at that search for that and come back and also if you don't know what Len is doing I think that's two videos ago go check that out so we're gonna increment I because this is iterating through A, and here's A. So all right, then print X. So I've left out a, st a step intentionally to see if anybody will get it. So what's this gonna do? Holy moly, they might say, well, why? I thought it was gonna be less, shouldn't it be less, than, shouldn't it be four? So let's try that. Should have left that out. And why is it doing all this extra stuff? So, well, I'll tell you the reason why it's doing it is because four, the for loop is doing it the length of this. So this should be seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, all right. This is what we need to do to shorten this. So, if this condition is met, do this. If else, do this break cuts you out out of this loop so let's see if we solve this problem so okay we solved one problem but our length is wrong I said we would we wanted this to be length of three so okay but this is four so all right this is what you have to do so each time Python's going through here, it checks this. So if this is less than four, it's three, right? It's three. But if, if it's three, and we're still adding one to it, that's why this has to be three, because the order of operation. So if this condition is met, so if this is two, go ahead and add one more. So that's why we want this to be three. That's one of those things that took me a long time to figure out. Whatever, whatever rule you set, it may not may not make exact sense, but you can, you can make this for whatever, whatever you, however situation you've used. So, or we could have done this up here. We could have changed this all around. But this is this is the way my brain works, and this is the way we got to do it. So, and the reason why we put the break here, or it'll go all the way through. And maybe I'll do a quick video on a way to do this exact same thing with len with a while loop. You could actually put that right in the middle. So that's actually a pretty good idea. Maybe I'll do that next time. So that's a quick little crash course on len with a for loop. So please leave any comments below, any video requests. I love getting those. And um, don't forget to click that like and subscribe button. And thanks for watching. Hope you guys are getting something out of this. And we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.